I'm David Britton, I'm Director of Adams at Clandyboy and the Ava Gallery. Um, you're very welcome to the exhibition. Um, this time our show is at solely a sculpture exhibition, which probably is quite unusual in Ireland that a complete and utter show would be devoted to sculpture. Unfortunately, um, sculpture is a medium that sometimes takes second place to paintings, and um, so it's very nice to be able to devote the whole gallery spaces um, to just solely to sculpture. Um, the exhibition is comprised of over 20 artists um, from the 32 counties nearly of Ireland, or certainly from all parts of Ireland, and it would mainly be bronzes that would be on show, but there are also very fine works in stone and marble. Um, among my favourites probably would be, on the contemporary front, um, would be the likes of Jason Ellis, who would do these very sort of um, sensual sort of figures. Um, the examples would be like the um, Your Lying Tongue. Now, Jason would have had a very good exhibition at the F.E. McWilliam Museum that some people might have seen last summer, not sum summer before last, in other words, summer um, 2009, which would have been quite a privilege um, for a sculptor to exhibit there. The exhibition was curated by sculptors. It was exhibited, um, curated by Leo Higgins and Colin Brennan. So I suppose in some ways it's a sculptor's sculpture exhibition and both, um, both those sculptors are actually represented by several pieces here, including probably the largest piece we have is Colin Brennan's wonderful um, sphere of swallows, um, which definitely um, deserves a place outside, but is on um, show inside the gallery here. Uh, among some of my other favourites would be um, Rowan Gillespie, and I think, again, this is quite a sort of sensual sort of um, figure. Um, it, a maquette for a, a piece which is it's called The Herald, which is um, outside a hospital, um, just out on the outskirts of Dublin. Another one of my favourites would be sort of Anna Campbell, um, Anna sort of again does these sort of very nice um, stylized birds and I think they're very very effective. Among the sort of veteran sculptors who again work in stone would be Claudia Cusson and I think that this um, piece in limestone here, um, Rapunzel, I think is a particularly strong piece and I would love to be able to take that home and put that in my garden but I, I think it would look wonderful when it gets wet. But it is sort of wonderful that we have not alone just works just in bronze, we also have the works um, in carved stone. The wonderful thing so far is that the, the favourites, some of my favourites that I've just mentioned there, have not necessarily been the favourites of the people that have actually come in, and they've actually gravitated towards um, some pieces that I probably wouldn't be as fond of, and naturally enough I can't name which artists those are. Um, but that's the wonderful thing about art, that everybody has you know different favourites. Um, and the other thing is, I suppose, it's the mixture of the young and the old. There's some of the veteran sculptors like John Bean, and as you saw, we've just sold the, the piece called Tribes. Um, he is now in his late 70s, and the fact that he's sort of exhibiting here with younger people like Jason Ellis, I think is terrific. So you've got all the different generations on show.